of the unbreakable bread. <laughs> okay, Baker Humperdink. Here's all the flour you ordered from my dad's store. Ten bags. Ten bags is a lot of flour. Well, Abel Baker Charlie and I need a lot of flour to make a lot of bread. Enough bread for everyone in busy town. <gasps> More bags of flour? Oh, these aren't bags of flour. They're bags of cement. Cement? What kind of things do you bake that need cement? The cement's not to bake with, Loli. It's for my new brick oven. Charlie and I make so much bread, we need another oven to bake it all. Jason the Mason is building one for us. I'd better get started building it. And I better get started baking bread. Drop in around lunchtime, boys. I'll give you a free loaf of the freshest bread in Busy Town. Mmm. Sounds to me like we're gonna have French toast for lunch. My favorite. <laughs> Sounds to me like your tummy can't wait. It's finally lunchtime, and I'm starving. Let's see if the bread's ready. Time for me to mix up more cement. And time for me to mix up more bread dough. Lonely, you're just in time. Another oh. batch of the freshest bread in Busy Town is just out of the oven. Take your pick. Thanks, Baker Humperdink. You pick one, Lonely. Okay. I think I'll pick. Oh, oh, that one looks good. Oh, that, oh, that one's bigger. And it, oh, oh, look at that one, all plump. Oh, that one. That one. Whoa! It's a lot heavier than I expected. I can't wait to get back to our house and make some delicious French toast. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> Sounds like something's wrong with my car. What's up, Huckle? A new mystery to solve? No, Pig won't. Just something wrong with my car, I think. Whatever it is, I will fix it. No, you won't. I will fix it. Me, 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 me. Wait a minute. It's not my car making noise. It's Loli's hungry tummy. And the only thing that will fix that is a big plate of French toast. There's only one thing we'd like more than French toast. More French toast! Well, then come over to my house for lunch. Let's go! Maybe we should have picked two loaves of bread. <laughs> Don't worry, Loli. This one is big enough for everybody. Uh-oh. I don't think anyone is going to be having any French toast. <laughs> I can't cut it. This bread is as hard as rock. But how can that be? Busy Town Action Bug News! Gold Bug here reporting for Busy Town News. So, what's on the menu for today, Huckle? Uh, big mystery, Gold Bug. 
For some reason, this loaf of bread is as hard as a rock. So I'm going to find out why and solve the mystery of the unbreakable bread. Ready for it? Here So work up those appetites, folks, because there's a second helping of mystery news coming your way. Stay tuned. Goldbug out. Okay, let's think. Does anyone have any ideas? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, I know. Maybe the bread is hard because it's frozen. Things get hard when they freeze, like when water turns to ice. That's right, Sally. Things do get hard when they freeze. And they also get cold when they freeze. Is the bread cold? Nope. It's not cold. So that means it's not frozen. It must be hard for some other reason. But what? Oh, I can think better when I'm not so hungry. I'm sure I'll be able to help solve this mystery after I get some French toast in my belly. But the bread is hard, Lily. We can get another loaf around the corner at my father's grocery store. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hi, Dad. We need a loaf of bread, please. And we're kind of in a hurry. Sorry, kids. I'd gladly give you one, but for some strange reason, every one of them is as hard as stone. This is an even bigger mystery than we thought. Hey, maybe the bread is stale. Bread goes hard when it gets stale. Ah. Bread does go hard when it gets stale. But even stale bread can be broken apart. <clears throat> but I can't break this bread. So that means it's not stale. But if the bread isn't frozen, and isn't stale, why is it so hard? Where did you get this bread from, Dad? From Humperdinck's Bakery. Hmm. Maybe we should go see if Baker Humperdinck or Abel Baker Charlie have any ideas. Let's go! Unbelievable! Not to mention impossible! All my bread is hard. Everyone in Busy Town is bringing my bread back because every single loaf is as hard as a rock. Why is my bread so hard? Do you think it might have something to do with the way you're making the bread? But we're making it the same way we always make it. Flour, water, salt, and yeast. Right, Charlie? Yep. Could you show us? But glad to, Huckle. Pour the flour into the mixing bowl, add some water, salt, and yeast, and mix it up. Then we knead the dough and form it into loaves. <clears throat> the new oven is finished and all fired up, ready for a test run. Well, then let's test it. It won't take long to bake. Then we'll see. That's odd, isn't it, Jason? Look at the cement holding the bricks together. Anyway, it looks like the oven is working just fine. I can smell fresh baked bread cooking. <sighs> I can smell it too. Maybe this means my bread is back to normal. Mm. Time to take it out of the oven. Oh. The freshest bread in Busy Town is still the hardest bread in Busy Town. <laughs> as hard as cement? It doesn't even smell like fresh bread. But if the bread doesn't smell like fresh baked bread, how come I can still smell fresh baked bread? Maybe it's because you're so hungry, Lily. 
No, it's not that, because I can smell it too. And me! And me! Hmm. I wonder if maybe... Aha! I think I know why the bread is as hard as cement and why the new oven cement is all puffed up and toasty. So what's cooking, Huckle? Have you solved the mystery of the unbreakable bread? I think so, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. First, we discovered the bread was as hard as cement. Then we discovered that the oven was as soft as bread. I think the flour and the cement got mixed up. And Charlie used the cement in his bread mix. And Jason used the flour in his cement mix. Well, that would be a problem. But how can you know for sure? Let's give it the Hungry Worm test. <laughs> Yummy! It smells like the freshest bread in Busy Town. So that's what we were smelling. The cement, not the bread. <laughs> and what does it taste like, Abel Baker Charlie? Delicious. The cement mix and the bread mix did get mixed up. So you were right, Huckle. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. So there you have it, folks. Huckle has solved another busy town mystery. Goldbug out. To thank you for all your help. Wait a second. That's not my tummy rumbling. More French toast! <laughs> <laughs> the Twisty Line Mystery. the road, including me. Hey, there's Ooh. Mr. Frumble. Ooh, whoops. And here's his hat. <laughs> Thank you, Loli. You're welcome. <laughs> Goodness, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. My nose just got the ticklies for some reason. Why did you drive off the road, Mr. Frumble? Did your car hit a slippery spot? No. I was following Banana's gorilla, and when he drove off the road, so did I. Mm, yum! And I was being a very good driver. Mm, following the hot dog car. Yum! And suddenly, whoop, flop, zoop, off the road he drove. So off the road I drove. And I was following Sergeant Murphy in a straight line. Then he drove all twisty. So I did too. But Sergeant, everyone knows you're a very careful driver. Why did you drive all twisty? I just don't know, Huckle. I am careful, and I always follow the yellow dividing line. Hmm. Hey, I see the problem. Look, the line on the road isn't straight. Yeah, it's all twisty. You're right, Sally. The dividing line isn't straight in this section of the road. The twisty line made everyone drive twisty, and they drove off the road. But why is the line all twisty? That's a mystery. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's a mystery to solve. <laughs> Busy Town Action Bug News. The 
Bug here for Busy Town Action News, reporting live from a roadway gone wrong. Huckle, can you give the straight story on this twisty mystery? Well, the yellow line on the road is all twisty, and it's caused lots of car pilot problems. But we don't know why the line got so twisty. So you've got a road line not painted straight, cars not driving straight, and everyone going straight into that field. Have I got that straight? You got it, Goldbug. And I am going to find out why the line is twisty and solve this mystery once and for all. With the help of my mystery-solving team, of course. Yay! Achoo! <laughs> Ready for it? Here it goes! on the road to solving this twisty mystery, folks. And that's the buzz in Busy Town. Let's get to work and look for clues, team. Hmm. Why is the line so twisty? <laughs> How come you keep sneezing? Do you have a cold? No, I don't have a cold. Uh, <laughs> I can't seem to stop sneezing. It just started when we got here. Hmm. Look, when you stepped on the yellow line, you left footprints, Loli. Aha! The paint is still wet. That means the line wasn't painted very long ago. Right, Sally. So we might be able to catch up to the worker who painted it and find out why he painted it twisty. Let's... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Again. And you know what else? We're beside another field of daisies. Just like the first place we saw the twisty line. I think that's a very interesting clue. Uh hey, that's true. Uh I'm going to pick a big bunch of daisies for Mom. I'll catch up with you. And we'll catch up to that line painting truck. Come on, Loli. I'm Huckle. And I'm Loli. I'm Jake. Pleased to meet you, boys. What's up? We're trying to solve a mystery. Oh? What kind of mystery? Well, it's about the line you've painted. Sometimes it's twisty. How come? Twisty? <laughs> Not my lines. My lines are nice and straight. See for yourself. Gosh, I can't believe it. I'm pretty proud of driving my truck as straight as an arrow. Must be a problem with the line painting machine on the back. And look, I picked a nice bunch of daisies. Here, smell them. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Now I know why Loli and Jake have been sneezing. It's the daisies that are making them sneeze. They both must be allergic to daisies. Oh dear, sorry about that. Hmm. It sure is interesting that that twisty line only seems to happen when the road passes by a daisy field. Oh! I have an idea, but first I need to do a little test, and I'll need your help, everybody. Sure. Count me okay. in. Okay. 
Okay, the test is ready. The paintbrush is in place. Now, Loli, drive as straight as you can. I'm on it. Straight as an arrow. Ooh, this kid is a natural born line painter. Okay, Sally, get ready with the daisies. And now. The line went twisty. What happened there, Huckle? When Loli smelled the daisies, he sneezed so hard, he jerked the steering wheel, and that made the Applemobile swerve to the side, and he painted a twisty line on the road. I, uh, I, ah, I must have done the same thing, because I'm allergic to daisies, too. I, uh, sneezed when I passed the daisies. And that's when my line kept going twisty. Oh, dear me. I need to fix them right away. I'm going to paint over that twisty yellow line with this gray paint and then paint a new straight line. But I'm worried, Huckle. What's wrong, Jake? When I'm driving past the daisies, how can I stop from sneezing and twisting my steering wheel? Before you get to the daisies, just roll up your window so you can't smell them. Yeah, and you won't, oh, ah, <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That sounds like a great plan. I'll lead the way. And when I toot my horn, that means we're nearly at the daisies, and it's time to roll up your windows. Gotcha, Sally. Woohoo! Let's ride! Goldbug here with an action news update. Huckle has figured out how a road line can get more twisted than a pretzel. <laughs> How'd you do it, Huckle? Well, here's what happened. We realized the twisty line was freshly painted, so we caught up to Jake in the line painting truck. Then we learned that Jake and Loli are allergic to daisies, and when they drove past the daisy fields, their sneezing made them drive all twisty. I can't take all the credit, Goldbug. It was teamwork. You said it. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. Hooray for Huckle! There you have it, folks. This is Goldbug, and that's the uh, uh, buzz in Busy Tattoo Town. I have searched every field, and this is the biggest daisy ever. No, Pigwheel. This is the biggest daisy ever. <laughs> this is the biggest stem ever. 